the 101 Dwagon Project is creating 101 drums, or Dwagons, to honor and give voice to the spirits of Indigenous children who never came home from residential school. The beat of the Dwagons has powerful symbolism. Dwagon, that's the kind of the translation, is a living heart. We were all in our mother's womb for those nine months, and that was what we heard, eh? So that was more of a connection with our emotion, a hearing. We could hear it, but then it also does something with your emotion. And it still does to this day, like folks will go to a gathering and hear the drum and start crying and not understand or see why. So regardless of, of what color our exterior is or whether it's male or female, we have that connection through our hearts to each other. So each of 101 drums is made up of 13 segments. And so the 13 segments is with our traditional teachings as well of the 13 moons, that natural calendar. Bailey Davis of the King's Clear First Nation sees the project as working towards a brighter future. Um, I was really inspired by the message of let's write the next sentence because up until now, a lot of what I heard is the trauma and everything and that's been coming out. And it's really important to acknowledge However, I also really want to look forward to the future and the hope. It's great to see how similar we are all at our roots. So if we bring everybody together, Indigenous and non-Indigenous, and work together spirit to spirit, then things can go a long way. So incredible to be a part of this, that process of having to stop and slow and allow the wood to burn in the way that it wishes to burn and not at the speed I wish to work at. It's a good reminder. They are now actively looking for Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists to paint the drums when they're assembled. They will then become a part of a traveling exhibition. Each drum is numbered and everyone who works on it is recorded. Like an adopted family that have worked on that one particular drum if you'd like to take part, you can join Grandmother's Voice as they host a second workshop at Country Heritage Park next Tuesday. A big part of that is going to be um, more of the wood burning, but it's going to be um, doing the names within those different frames. And so there's going to be a different connection again. Reporting for Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.